Hey guys, Jeremy here from How To Hockey. You can tell it's a beautiful day out right now. Awesome day to go to the beach, relax, you know, not do much of anything. But I'm going inside the hockey arena to talk to the number one draft pick of the OHL this year, David Levin. He has a really good story that I want to share with you, and I also want to show how much dedication and commitment it takes to achieve your dreams. All right, let's go inside and see what he's up to. Hi, my, David, my name is David Levin. Uh, I'm from Israel. Drafted by Sabir Force of All. Uh, I, I obviously born in Israel, so it's a really small country, but uh, it's not a lot of hockey there. But uh, I, I was playing inline hockey. My dad is a hockey coach, so I was really close to him. Uh, I always told my parents I have a dream to move to Canada, so I had to work really hard. So I play inline hockey uh, a lot because my dad is a coach, so I always was with him. Uh, I had uh, three times a day uh, hockey practice in inline hockey, but uh, the rink is really far from my house. It's like four hours away, the ice rink. So maybe a couple times a year I was driving there just to skate, but it uh, didn't work for me a lot. So I back, uh, went back to inline hockey and uh, I was working there with the ball. It's really fun to play with the ball four and four and uh, with the goal, you know, outside, no icing. And I was, obviously was telling my parents I wanted to move to Canada to make my dream come true. So here, here I am now. How long did you play inline? I was playing inline about uh, Eight years, seven years. Uh, what age did you move to Canada? I moved in 12 years old without my parents to move to play hockey here. Sometimes I was living with my coach too because uh, no one could drive me, so he helped me a lot, Lindsay Hofer. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, really, it's, it's in one way it's really fun to move here and uh, make your dream come true. But in a second way, uh, your family and your friends back home there, you really miss them. But if you have a dream, you have to focus on it and every day work harder and harder. How did you get on a team when you moved here? How did you end up uh, on a hockey team? I fly here with my dad to, for a tryout for the school. And uh, I went on the ice and in, in the same day, a double-A coach uh, saw me on the ice. And after the practice, he came and talked to me and asked me if you, if you, want, if you want to join my team. And I said, yeah, for sure, because I didn't know nothing here. So he asked me, so they, I said yes, for sure. Uh, and the next day, I went to his tryouts for the double-A team. Uh, and uh, the triple-A coach saw me and uh, he just took me and this is where everything started. How have things uh, progressed since then? From a 12-year-old, how did you get to uh, number one draft pick? Uh, obviously, when I moved here in 12 years old, uh, I, I really didn't know about uh, the draft. I didn't know what is a draft, I didn't know what is the OHL. But obviously, knew what is the NHL, but uh, after meeting some good friends here, and they helped me a lot, and they told me about the draft and the Ontario Hockey League. And uh, I knew the, the, the moment they told me about it, I knew I have, uh, I have to focus for this now. This is my first step before my dream comes true. And, uh, then the day after I just was working really hard uh, all year and uh, just going to the gym every day, uh, ice time, try, trying to get uh, some extra ice time and uh, this is how I got here now. And you've been doing that since you were 12? Yeah. Ice and gym? Uh, actually when I just got here I was doing extra some stuff with because uh, I didn't know how to skate like the other guys but it was really hard for me. Yeah. Didn't know how to stop so I went a couple times to the boards but uh, <laughs> after I got better and better. How did you find going from mostly inline hockey to ice hockey? What were the challenges? Uh, the obvious challenge was the skating. You know, it's a different game between a roll blades and ice hockey. Uh, didn't know how to turn, how to stop. But uh, I was getting better and better every day, working hard at the gym, obviously, and, uh, on the ice, and uh, this is how I got better. So what's your schedule like uh, in the season when you're playing? Like how, how, many, how many times are you on the ice? How much time are you in the gym? So uh, with the dumbest Slides, we had two practices in a week, and uh, with the school, we had three times a week, and uh, gym every day. So, so it was five times a day ice and uh, every day gym, and in the weekends, I had uh, games, three games a week, maybe two games. So it was really hard, every, every day ice and every gym. So. You have to work really hard and uh, just play. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mean mugging. <laughs> Does it ever feel like uh, work for you or you know you coming to the rink all the time? Uh, it does, don't, I don't feel like work now. I just know I have to get there and uh, my work will be when I will get to the NHL. This will be my best work ever. A great day to go to the beach. Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> friends. Yeah, so what's your schedule like in the summer? Uh, obviously I can't go to the beach with my friends, but uh, I have to come here to work out every day to the gym and uh, 
work out on the ice this summer just will get better. And how many hours do you spend in the rink during the summer? I'm coming here in, uh, around 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm just staying here till 6 o'clock. Working hard at the gym, going on the ice, then chilling a little bit, eating, and then going again on the ice and gym. And uh, do you have any days off? Uh, just maybe Saturday, Sunday, but we always with my friends, my buddies, and we're playing basketball. Just we like to move, so yep. we're doing basketball, soccer, playing street hockey. It's fun. <laughs> so, do you have any messages for other kids? Uh, you know, want to make it higher up in hockey or want to achieve something? Yeah, for sure. Just you guys, like, if you guys have a bad day or a bad game, it doesn't matter. You guys always have more games and more prizes. So, just never give up. Always uh, go straight and work hard every day.